Morning, Mark. Um, just setting up. Um, just setting up. Hello, it's me. I'm down here. Um, just setting up a piece of wood just to test out the hollow and round. Uh, just done the uh, hollow. Um, got the old um, casting out sh uh, shoulder plane, and I thought I'd uh, show you what a shoulder plane infill works like. Um, let's just tap it in a bit more. Give it a bit more welly. This is why a shoulder plane um, needs to be an infill because it is a beautiful weight. Um, that's my opinion anyway. You don't get much better than that. Uh, very deep cut there just to take a lot of stock out to get the um, you can hear the noise. Whoops, got caught. Bear with me. We're just taking one after the other. Shaving is always worth getting the uh, mouth clear after every shaving when you're doing deep ones like that because obviously. Um, just bung up after each other. Yes, side ejection. Anyway, <clears throat> we've got um, to all intents and purposes a nice little shoulder there. Yeah, this one is a casting. It was a. Uh, you can see how much damage there was on the side. It was uh, thrown away. Five quid in a boot fair, uh, and it weighs. Or probably a kilo, maybe more even. Um, so it's got a lot of, and you can get quite light with it. Um, or you can go quite heavy with it. So that's um, that's the edge done on that. I have no idea what shape's going to come out here. Um, I was just going to. Just going to round this off using the hollow I set up for you. This is running a bit coarse, but as you can see, the shavings are coming out quite nice. Just going to take the corners off and work slowly round to get from one side to the other until we end up with a a nice little um, rounded off shape and you can see how fast that took um, took how little time that took me um, and the shape is is perfect. Um, uh, it's absolutely stonking plain. Second problem I've got is, oh, sorry, a problem we've got, or maybe not. I'm not sure. Um, I haven't fettled the I haven't fettled the round up yet, the matching round. But there's a chip in the leading edge of the mouth. Now I don't think that's going to be an awful lot of problem. These are very rare, not easy to get hold of, uh, in matched pairs, and they vary so greatly from one manufacturer to another that it's um, <clears throat> always worth getting a matched pair. I don't know if this is, uh, as I say, I haven't fettled this one up. So they look to have been owned by um, a cabinet maker because. They're fairly well sharp anyway. I'll just this is just straight out of the box, by the way. Yeah, it's not very sharp. Um, let's give it a little tickle for a second. Uh, see how quickly I can do this for you. This won't be very sharp. And they both had their backs 
sorry, I was shaking a little bit because I've... They both had their faces rather um, flattened already. So it's obviously been someone that uh, knows what they're doing. Just taking this one down to, to a, on a coarse diamond to the edge. Might take a little bit. Let me just pause this a second. <laughs> 